Now we turn from Boston to that other American region in crisis, reeling tonight and asking the nation's prayers after a massive and mysterious explosion at a fertilizer plant. The image caught on tape, the air thick with the smell of ammonia, volunteer firefighters overwhelmed. The blast had the ferocity of a 2.1 earthquake and the thunderous shock could be heard 45 miles away. Tonight, the small town outside Waco, called West, has been flattened. ABC Steve Osinsami has been there through the night. Their moment of crisis for families in the small town of West Texas came at 7.29 p.m. with a fire raging at their giant fertilizer depot. Everybody needs to get away from there. Back all across, away from the power plant. A small team of firefighters answering the call, worried the whole thing could blow. Then at 7.53, the sound no one here will soon forget. Yeah. Oh, you okay? Dad? You okay? Dad, I can't hear. Come here. I can't hear. Get out of here. Please get out of here. The plant blew to pieces. We need every ambulance we can get this way. A bomb just went off inside here. It's pretty bad. A mushroom cloud of smoke filled the sky. Holy, what is it? I don't know. It looked like... You remember seeing the atom atomic bomb, you know, that plume, well, there it was. By 8.15, there were at least five firefighters missing, two emergency workers killed. We got a lot of firemen down. The nursing home across the street blasted. What happened? <laughs> a nearby apartment building destroyed. Oh my God. At 8.30, Betty Tucker, three blocks down, was trapped and says a neighbor helped pull her out from under her crumbled walls. The most horrible noise I've ever heard in my life. She walked out to find wounded neighbors stumbling through the streets. Doctors set up a makeshift triage in a nearby field. Did you know anyone who was killed in this? Yes, I do. This is a small, tight-knit community. Tonight, investigators are trying to determine what started the fire at the plant with its huge tanks of highly flammable anhydrous ammonia used to treat fertilizer. We are way too early in the investigation to, to speculate on causes uh, or what may have actually occurred. But the timing of the disaster is haunting. 20 years ago today, the compound of the Branch Davidian cult in nearby Waco came to a fiery end after a showdown with federal agents. In West tonight, 160 people are recovering from their injuries. The mayor says up to 45 people are still missing as police search the rubble for survivors. Late today, authorities released the name of the first casualty in this explosion, Captain Kenny Harris who actually worked for the Dallas Police, Dallas Fire Department, but lived in West, responded to the call, and tonight they're hailing him as a hero.